Without a steady supply of clean water, we are screwed. I live in New York City. The tap water here is delicious. It's delivered to me through an incredibly complicated, elegant engineering system of reservoirs, water mains, water sprites, all the way from the mountains to me. If this system was to fail, I would go from thirsty to dead in three days. The alternative is to drink the water that's around. Rivers, streams, or in my case, the Gowanus Canal, one of the most polluted bodies of water on Earth. If I was dying of thirst, a sip of water from here would provide refreshment, followed by a stinging sensation, and then crippling diarrhea and possibly death. When the system fails, I want to keep going. I want to thrive, not just survive. And to do that, I need a supply of clean water. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a device to purify water. It's going to be made from trash, have no moving parts, and not require any electrical power going in. It's going to take Gowanus water and make it tasty. The device is a solar still. It uses the power of the sun to strip pure H2O from whatever source, no matter how foul. It acts like the Earth's water cycle in miniature form. You take a reservoir of nasty water, like the ocean, you put in sunlight, sunlight evaporates the water, it goes and hits the glass, which is kind of like the upper atmosphere, and condenses, like rain. Instead of raining down, it beads along the glass until it hits this gutter, and it goes through the gutter into a collection vessel. When the water evaporates, everything that is heavier than water is left behind. So bacteria, heavy metals, rotting dolphin parts, those all stay in the sludge at the bottom. Some of the lighter hydrocarbons, like acetone or gasoline, will rise with the water, but they come off first. So you just throw away the first bits of water from the still, and you're good to go. I used a car windshield, some scrap plywood, a piece of copper pipe, some caulk, some duct tape, and wood from old hardwood pallets. You can use anything as long as it fits three conditions. The top needs to be glass, so you can use a piece of coffee table or window or anything like that. The inside, the box, needs to be watertight, and it should be black on the inside to absorb sunlight. So any encasement that is watertight will do. And very importantly, the thing, the whole still needs to be vapor tight. That means no water vapor comes out, nothing from the outside comes in. One tricky part is getting the gutter right. It has to catch the condensation as it flows across the glass, but not interrupt that flow, and then channel the water to where you want it. I took a piece of copper pipe, I slid it with the shears, I bent it back with pliers, I banged it around, I bled all over it, which should guarantee it working. It's not quite perfect, but it's nothing that duct tape won't fix. The gutter needs to be placed on the downhill side of the still. Which side is the downhill side? It's the side that you put the gutter on. Gutter on this side, make sure that you tilt the other side of the still up a little. It doesn't have to be much, just a degree or two, just enough so that the water tends in one direction. Tape and caulk down the windshield, seal up all gaps, all cracks, make sure everything is vapor tight. Here's a good little test to see if things are vapor tight. Blow into the copper pipe. Does it remain at about the same level of difficulty? Well, that means that you have a leak. Does the blowing get harder and harder and harder until you start to see little black spots? Well, the bad news is that those black spots are bits of your brain dying. The good news is that your still is vapor tight. Lastly, we need a way to get the filthy water in and the filthier sludge out. I'm using a sink faucet valve. Drill a hole right here, set it in. Water in, sludge out, same hole. Situate the still in a place where I'll get as much direct sunlight as possible. Pour in foul, filthy water, seal everything up, and wait for the magic to happen. Remember to throw away the first 100 milliliters or so of output, because that's where the lighter hydrocarbons are going to be. We didn't get a full day of sunlight, so the yield from the still wasn't huge. But a uh, still of this size, as long as it's decently vapor tight and you get a decent amount of sunlight, should produce about a liter and a half of fresh water a day. As with anything, your mileage may vary. Astringent. Is it clean? Well, the most efficient way I know of testing it is to just drink it. I don't have health insurance, so check back in the comments in a few days to see if I'm still alive.
It's like the Earth's water system in miniature, which I guess makes me a miniature rain god. I demand miniature pyramids with adorable miniature little human sacrifices.